Hey adventurers, guess what? I got some new stuff. So you know what that means. This is the second installment of Adventures in Airsofting, the unboxing edition! Yay! Fanfare and whatnot. So, first off, I have my new airsoft gun here that I'm going to unbox for you. I'm not going to spoil it, but some of you already know what it is. I've had it for months. But I've been so busy that I haven't really been able to do anything with it other than allow it to collect dust. Before we get to that, I would like to get to some of the stuff that was given to me slash discounted for me at the Tampa Gun Show. So first off, we have this amazing artist. So this artist I saw at the Tampa Gun Show. He had some amazing oil paintings, a bunch of t-shirts and whatnot. But um, what I really liked was this hat that I saw here. I'm a fan of trucker caps, especially in the summertime, and this is fantastic. I don't know if you can see everything, but it says Defiance Art and Apparel Company, United States of America, 1776. He has this whole thing about these revolutionary soldiers wearing COVID masks, essentially, which I think is very unique. I've never seen anything like this before. His art style is very nice, and I highly suggest you guys check him out. He's a local Florida artist here, the Moreshi Illustrations. There's all of his contact info there. And if you go to Stampede at some point, you'll see these sitting there. So if you're interested in any of his t-shirts or anything, feel free to check him out. He's a really nice guy. He ended up giving me these two decals right here that are pretty awesome. These are going to go right onto the gun safe. I don't know if I'm going to film that or not, but look at that. That's just awesome. Amazing artwork. So, speaking of amazing artwork, I got a new knife. So this is from American Edge Custom Knives. Got his card right there. Got everything, nothing on the back, nothing fancy. But this knife is nice and fancy. This is a nice leather sheath. I know you can't smell it through the camera, but my God, it smells very, very good. Now look at this blade right here. Look how thick that handle is. It's full tang. I'm not exactly sure what kind of steel this is. I think he told me. Maybe it's 410. I'm not sure. But it is nice. It fits in my hand very nicely. And I really cannot wait to take this thing camping and do some bush crafting with it. This is going to be absolutely perfect. Look how that well that fits. It's nice and fat and everything like that. Look at that. So this is one of my new toys right here. I'm very happy with this. So thank you again to Anthony Evangelist, who made this and gave me a little discount on it. Primarily because I had cash. I don't think I told him I was going to give him a shout-out on this. But I love this thing so much that I can't see why I wouldn't give him a shout-out. Okay, so we got those shout-outs out of the way. So now let's get the last one for the guy who sent this to me. So I don't know how many of you know this, but there's an app called HopUp that sells basically everything airsoft related it's pretty much craigslist just for airsoft which is fantastic uh except if you have insomnia like me and then you buy something and uh but i wanted to give a shout out to the guy who sent this to me because he told me he has a company this is from alex he owns a company called healthy af i guess he's an air force guy and they sell CBD cosmetics and soaps. You can see them at HTTP, well, you know, I'll just put a link to his website in the description of this video. So, let's go ahead and get in to this package. I'm going to open it with my brand new knife from American Edge Custom Knives. So, let's go ahead and cut this open. How sharp is it? Oh, it's sharp. Oh, two layers. It's packaged pretty well. Oh, look how that cuts. Oh, like butter. Yeah. Do that to this other side here. Oh, man. And I did not sharpen this knife at all. That is sharp. That's a nice sharp knife. Oh, and guess what? I opened it up upside down. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
Everybody throws stuff on these YouTube videos. I want to throw some stuff. So here we go. As you can see here, this is the Aries PPSH, or the Papa Shaw. This is one of those iconic guns from World War II that I've always been interested in. You know, you play with them on Call of Duty and whatnot, and it's always fun, but you never know until you get it in your hands. I've noticed that with some real steel guns, like an Uzi, for instance. They're just, they, they look a lot more powerful on the TV than they do in real life. M16, that is a whole nother, that is a whole nother. So, are you guys ready? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, oh no. More tape. Premature ba da ba ba ba. All right, and ba da da ba da da ba. Wow. Okay, well, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that Papa Shaw. Oh, wow. Okay. Take a look at this. Wow, look at that. Look at that green. So, I don't know. I can't remember in the description if this was brand new or if this was used. But this looks to be in fantastic condition. A little bit of scuffing here. Not too much, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a darn good looking gun. Got all this right here. So I have done a little bit of research on the PPSH for the real steel version as well as the airsoft version. Now there's a, a little bit of differences here, obviously. Like the, <laughs> the foregrip is kind of non-existent. It's just all open rail here. And you have the magwell here, which apparently with the real steel PPSH 41s, it's very hard to get matching magazines that actually fit into the magwell, which I'm really hoping is not gonna be the same case for the airsoft version. And then we have this 2000 round drum magazine here. Look at this thing. It's a high cap. I'm not too familiar with drum magazines in airsoft or in real guns in general. What I did notice is that um, people have said that you could do takedowns of these much like the real PPSH which you just oh, you lock this back come on okay lock that back and then this right here is supposed to push forward aha and then it breaks down I don't know if this came with any direction because they usually put them on top but that feels really good right there so this whole thing this feels like real steel and wood steel there okay so this looks to be the selector switch right here i don't know which one is which but we shall figure it out so and i also saw and for this magazine you need to flip this out. This is on the real steel version. I didn't see that on this. The guy I watched was just popping it in there. You see the magazine is definitely used. So this is a used gun. Which is fine. I remember I got it for a pretty darn good price. Compared to what it, what it retails for normally. And you see there's nothing in there. We're good safety wise. Let's slap that in. And you... There we go. So there's our PPSH with this drum mag in its full glory. Look at that butte. So we're gonna change the angle here a little bit to look at this battery compartment. It's in the butt stock. You see here you got a Tamiya cable. It comes through here. I think you have to unscrew this. Oh, oh that's fancy. Okay, so there is a little release right here. 
that releases that so you can put that in but look at that battery cavity that's pretty big i'm gonna get a uh i'm gonna be able to get pretty much whatever i want in there this is one of the first guns where i have an actual battery compartment wow so now that we have gone over the gun a little bit we've looked at the selector switch the drum mag the takedown we've looked at the body of it i think it's about time to shoot this thing what do you guys think all right adventurers time for the backyard range let's do this so we have the ppsh here good old papa shaw let's go ahead and run some uh run some bb's through it and while i'm getting it set up I do want to uh, thank all of you out there because we've reached 50 subscribers. It's amazing to me. Such a great round number. Now, I have been thinking about the future of this channel and there's a lot of stuff that I do want to do. So at 100 subscribers, I have a video that I'm going to be releasing, hopefully, if I do reach 50 or 100 subscribers. It's basically going to be talking about why I play Airsoft. It's kind of a long story, and some of it is really sad, but at the end of it, it's really happy. It has a great happy ending. As you can kind of see right now, as I'm sitting here in my backyard, just about to shoot a Papa Shaw, which I never thought I'd ever have. So on the note of future videos, if any of you out there want to see something in particular, just let me know in the comments or come flag me down at the field. We have our 2,000 round drum mag here. The way that we get this open is we have this little dial right here pull that guy off this that hinge drops you pull this all the way out get over here pull that all the way out very gingerly I don't want all the BBs to fly out of this And that is our drum mag interior. Can you see all that? So that is the interior of the drum mag. This is the wheel that you wind to load up all the BBs. You need to load the BBs up here at the top, not at the bottom, as I have found out, because gravity, you know, kind of makes sense. I just finished some work, got a couple projects out the door, and now it's time for me to have some fun. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing a little bit, huh? So that's semi-auto. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm sure you can see it. This electric blowback right here. See how cool that thing moves? Now, the selector switch is right here. That's semi-auto, and that's the fun part. Full auto. Probably help if I wound this thing, right? Alright, now we can go. Okay, so I really like this gun a lot. It has some of the same issues that I've seen with so many airsoft guns. There's a lot of double feeding. I'm getting just kind of a spray pattern sometimes that uh, is really inconsistent. Even here at about 30 yards, I mean, it's it should be a lot more on point. I feel like with semi-auto, it was doing just fine. But on a full auto, it's not so much. Let's flip it into full again. I think that's it for our uh, magazine here. Let's go ahead and pop this out. So we still have some BBs in here. All right, so now we're gonna get the .20s, which apparently are the best thing to chrono with. Otherwise, you have to do some sort of conversion that I still haven't figured out what it is. So we've got the drum loaded with our .20s. We've got the chrono set up here. We've got all these GoPros going. So let's see what we got. Now, the first BB is likely not a 2.0, 0 
But either way, we'll see what we got. Oops. Oh, hey, that works. Okay, so we got 280.3, 273, 276. All right, and that's it. That is the PPSH 41, also affectionately called the Papa Shaw. It's made by Ares, and it's my first Ares gun. And I gotta say that they have done a great job on this. It looks beautiful, it works really nice. I gotta figure out the feeding issues, but just like so many other airsoft guns, it's probably related to the magazine. I don't know what's going on with it, but a um, little bit of a uh, little bit of tinkering will figure it out. So the bottom line here is that I am very pleased with this purchase. This is my first gun off of Hop Up. I'm going to use Hop Up again, and I appreciate Alex for making this a great first time experience for me. So again, check out Healthy AF. He's probably an Air Force guy. It would probably go to support someone in the military, which would be fantastic. He sells CBD products, uh, soaps and cosmetics and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you're in search of that or nobody who is in need, check him out. I have a link in the description below. So on that note, all of you adventurers out there, well, dang it. I never know how to finish the video. I need to have a good sign off. I need to have some way to get it, you know, kind of like Demolition Ranch. It's like, I love you. I don't want to steal from him. I don't want to steal from a swamp sniper either. I'm already stealing so much. Let's think about this. Okay. I think I might got some. I might have something. Well, adventures, that concludes another edition of Adventures in Airsofting, the unboxing edition. Hopefully, this will be a nice addition to the arsenal. It feels like it already is. I'm going to see how it works this Saturday during the gameplay. You're also going to enjoy watching the water gun fight that we're going to have then too. I'm very excited about that. Thanks for watching another Adventures in Airsofting. I'll see you on the next one. Cue my theme music. And I'm spent.